Another one is people that throw you with maybe their page. Then you click on their page on their bio. It says God's daughter, God's first, first son, God's this. I'm like, does God know that you are a terrible person? Welcome back to my channel. Today is exciting because I am taking Ebuka out to celebrate the launch of his show. I mean, it's doing well, people are receiving it well. So I thought, why not take him out to celebrate him? And the kids are coming with us. Um, so that should be exciting. We're going to RSVP shortly. You guys, please ignore my eyes. For some reason, this eye is red. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I mistakenly put my finger in my eye. I can't even remember. But for some reason, I have a red eye. It is not Apollo, one of those things. Um, so yeah, you guys, please, I need a favor. Share, subscribe to my channel because we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Like it's literally beyond me that I literally started posting seriously in November and we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. So please, 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 please share. I really want to hit that mark this month. So please subscribe, tell your friends, your family, everybody to subscribe. Let's, like we're going to have a major celebration when <laughs> that happens. I feel like I should wear glasses because I don't like the way my eyes are looking right now. But yes, we're going to have a major celebration. I don't know what it says yet, and don't hold me to it, but we will be popping a bottle of something good when that happens. So what's the name of Ebuka's show? That is true. Ebuka turns up Africa. Yeah, so you guys can scoot over. Leave my <laughs> Yeah, so we're going. Do you know I have watched that show like three times it's been that entertaining and given that obviously this was just like almost a year ago and i kind of know what's gonna happen but it's seeing it on tv it just feels differently and i'm glad that people are receiving it well yeah i'm just rambling here because i'm waiting for ebuka to be done getting ready before we head out kids are playing rock paper scissors yes. <laughs> okay, if you guys ready, let's go. <laughs> where, does she, where did she learn? She's always doing like this stuff. Where did Very much
What is your most of? Oops. Ibs. 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 Can you pick up? I think so. <laughs> no, try. Okay, okay. <laughs> try. Almost, almost, almost. You want more? Sometimes. One thing to say. So, guys, I am back from my lunch. It was yummy as always. RSVP always hits the spot and if you know me you know i'm a foodie I, like i feel like watching this video should tell you guys how much of a foodie i am because i'm always talking about food going somewhere to eat like i like food anyway so that's done i literally i'm so full right now so pardon me i had to adjust my waistband because my my waistband was suffering anyway so I decided, you know what, what am I going to share with you guys today? And I thought, you know what, I want to rant a bit. I have different things that maybe bother me. And a few people have told me, I said that you like to rant, but I'm like, why not? If something bothers you, say no. And to be fair, I'm guilty of some of these things I am about to discuss. So disclaimer, nobody should want to tell me, uh, but I, I'm sure my friends will come and comment, but you do this thing. Yes, I do. I am guilty. Guilty as charged, but it's still very annoying and I need to be do better myself. So, but I'm just putting it out there because it's like, bruh, y'all need to do better. Better. <laughs> better. Yeah. So, number one. Number one for me is people that see you at an event and you see them. Nobody says hi to each other. You guys go your separate ways. I mean, you're familiar with this person. And then the person goes around saying, ah, she even saw me at an event and she didn't say hi. Am I the only one that saw you? Did you see me too? The same eyes I have, don't you have it too? Why didn't you say hi? I mean, your mom's paying you. That thing irritates me. And I am possibly guilty of this and I'm trying to stop it. So let's, I'm, I'm not going to put that disclaimer again, but like, you saw me, I saw you. You did not say hi, I did not say hi. But you have a problem with this. Why? You know, just, I mean, keep quiet. Eh, call it, call it what it is. Like, it's not, it's not that, it, it's, it's deep, but it's not that deep. If we both did not say hi to each other, maybe one person is waiting to, for you to say hi, you guys, that's fine. Why are you ranting up and down the place that you saw someone, you saw a girl, saw you, I, I saw you, and you did not say hi to me, but you saw me too. How about you walk up to me and say hi? Is, do you have problems with your mom? I don't think so. So that is the number one thing. So this next thing is, I've said this like a million times, lateness. I'm not a big I'm not even going to talk too much about this. I, like people are just complete. I am not guilty of this one so I can't speak my full chest. I dislike lateness. So like I'm tired of ranting about it at this point. I just made a conscious decision to walk away from people or not wait for people longer than 10 minutes. If you keep me waiting longer than 10 minutes, I am going to give you there. That's that. Like the third thing I I have on my list is I check my notes. One-sided beef. You know that there are people that just don't like you for it, like reasons you have no idea about. Like you literally can meet someone and they're already puffing and puffing around you. And next, maybe you hear, ah, she doesn't like you. And I'm like, we've never had any interaction before. How, what could I have done? Is it from my sleep? Is it from your sleep? Or maybe you've heard I've done something to someone or someone has given you information, um, gist about something that may or may not be true and you start huffing and puffing. You know, like, beefing someone that does not know you, beefing someone that does not read you, beefing someone that does not even care about you. It's like, aren't you drained? 
I'm not guilty of this one, so I can I can boldly talk about it. It's it's, it's like gross. Like nobody ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. So another thing on my list is like brands that like reach out to you and want to pay you next to nothing to work for them. I mean, we are all in this Nigeria together. We're all in this economic crisis together. You understand what things are saying, what ticket pricing is like, what shopping is like, buying the basic things, cool fees, and you want me to spend my time, my energy, like my brain, my physical strength, my mental strength, everything into a job or into a project and you are giving me peanuts for it. Like sometimes for me, I'd rather lie down on my bed though than collect next to nothing for quality work, if that makes sense. And they will claim, oh, but the organization is, or the, the brand is growing. And our next project will have you high up there. You are going to be the person, we're going to pay you better. That's always a lie. Because the next time that brand comes back, they will literally beg you again for that shitty price. So it's best you charge them your proper fee and if they don't want to work with you, walk away because they will always feel like they can get you for that first price that you give them. And that's what I've come to realize. And it's just like, it's, it's mind boggling. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Another thing is I've been seeing these videos. I feel like a lot of have been doing oh shopping in bulk, yadi 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 yadi. I don't even know if it's just my household or like it doesn't just work for me and my household shopping in bulk. Well, I don't know what you guys mean by shopping in bulk. Is it like shopping for like three months as a stretch, or it, bulk doesn't mean like for one month? Because I find that I remember during COVID when there were rumors like ah everybody go stock up your house and. My husband and I literally went to the supermarket. We bought, like, it, we bought and bought and bought things for the house that were supposed to last us three months. But guess what? It finished in one month. I feel like nothing lasts in my house with my staff because once they see a lot of, like, for example, if I buy 20 dish um, liquid soap that's supposed to last for three months, once they see it there, it's almost as if. Oh, because it's there, they think, let me use more, more of it. In, I don't know if I'm making sense. Like, they just need to finish it. Like what is supposed to last for three months, end up finishing in one month because they overuse it when, when they see a loss. And it's just like, wow, this thing was supposed to last for three months. So it doesn't work for me. Buying in bulk, I don't know. It's, it's never really worked for my household. I literally just shop month to month because if I decide, except, Maybe another idea will be to just lock them up in a storage and bring out the things of the month because these people they don't they don't I remember I went I went grocery shopping with one of my helps and as she was also screaming about the price, she was like, ah ma ah I'm like thank god you are seeing it. So when you are using these things, use it like someone that has a hat. Use it like someone that has a hat because I'm glad that you're shocked by the prices of these things because I, it's like you could not understand what was happening in Nigeria. So yeah, I've never been a big fan of bulk shopping. That's if you guys classify bulk shopping as shopping for three months, four months. Well, if it's like month, month to month, I don't really consider that as bulk shopping. So yeah, another thing is, I mean, I'm, I'm, I've been trolled quite a bit, I mean, since I, I got married to, I mean, nobody knew me or knew about my business prior to getting married to Ibuka. But since getting married to him, obviously I've opened myself up for a few insults here and there. But one thing I don't grab, people that troll you with their business page, it is like, create a private account. Be subtle about these things. You want to ruin your business because we can, you can, anybody can decide to call you out, put a target on your business if they choose to. 
So of all things to go and throw someone with is your business account. How, make that make sense to me. There are many other ways to throw. I'm not saying that, I mean, I guess another way to look at it is they are trolling you with, with their full chest. But at the same time, just like, bruh, okay, here's your personal page, but your business page? That is like next level senseless to me. It's like, how? You're, you're not you're not bothered or you're not scared of losing your source of income. You literally open the person's page and you see their full address. You're not scared to be attacked. You're not scared to be to be what's it called to be to be found or arrested. Ha! Huh. People have mind though. Like it's actually crazy. Like, I just hope they don't meet someone that literally has their time. I really do. Another one is people that throw you with maybe their page, then you click on their page and their bio. It says God's daughter, God's first, first son, God's this. I'm like, does God know that you are a terrible person? That you are this evil, you spew hate on people you don't know? And they are the ones that will say God's this, Jesus' sister, this one, this. I'm just like, You've just downloaded, like, giving someone, made some, ruined someone's day by the things you've dropped on their page. Once you go to your profile, oh, Jesus is my Lord and personal savior. This one, this one, this one. I'm just like, hey, Auntie, God does not like this, so God does not support this bad behavior. So, check it. Hi, guys. So, um, they always open the gates, and I was like, wait. Um, so I haven't picked up my phone to record for like like three days, four, three, four days. Um, I'm on my way to mass right now because obviously it's the lengthening season. I try to go to church as much as I can within the week, like afternoon mass. And I'm not going as much as I should, but I'm really trying. So yes, I'm headed to mass and the kids have their swimming after school. So the nanny and the driver will go pick them up and take them there. I won't be going with them today because I have a few errands to run after, after mass. So we're on time. I mean, I really like to get there like 15 minutes earlier. So I'm settled in and I get my seat. Am I, am I the only one who likes a specific seat at church? Like we always tend to get there early, so we are sure that I mean we get everywhere early. What we we are particular about getting there earlier, so that we get our specific seats. And because I don't know, that's just where we like to sit. There's nothing special about this seat. So yeah, I am off to church, guys. They are fixing our road, my streets um, road. They came with so much vim at the start of the year. And we're in March, and I can tell you for a fact that we're not even... <laughs> they haven't done any concrete, anything concrete on these streets. And like our street is literally the worst street in Lekki. Like the road, I mean, it's so bumpy and hectic. I'm sure sometimes you would have noticed that when I'm leaving my house, it's like, it's like, you know, but yeah. Hopefully before the end of the year, <laughs> they will finally get it together and have it fixed but at least they are starting that's the important thing so they will finish before the end of the year so yay <laughs> um so yeah let's go to church and praise the lord it's also um ruby's birthday week, um birthday party in about two weeks and that's exciting my girl is so excited this is her first party ever so yeah i'm sorting out party packs i'm one of those babes that like once as soon as i get a bill like when my plan just gave me the bill i just close my eye well able can close his eye because not like i paid for it <laughs> we close our eyes and just paid for everything at once so that we're, we know that we're done and there's no back and forth on Oh, we haven't paid for this, we haven't paid for that. It's just for us makes more sense to just get it done with as soon as we can. So thankfully that's sorted. The only thing that's left is the party pack and it's because I am insisting on doing by myself. My new love for 
doing things for myself is like yeah so i'm going to buy everything pack everything for myself um i was planning this very nice party pack but you know what i'm just like what well, after everything we've done i'm just like you know what we'll go back to basics to regular nice party pack most the extra things i was planning to do yeah so we're excited for that and looking forward to that yes i'm going to dedicate a full-on vlog to um to ruby's fifth birthday party so i can show you guys how swell of a time we're gonna have well i hope we're going to have i mean it's a haul but i still hope it doesn't rain on that day because i know it's hot and it's not raining but i feel like march end of march early april we're going to start getting a few drizzles here and there so fingers crossed it doesn't rain on the day of the party so let me go to church and worship the lord for all the goodness he has done for me i am blessed i am what's my affirmation i can't remember anyway let me go to church So I just finished from mass, um, always nice and short, 30 minutes at most um, for the afternoon mass. So I am headed for my errands. So guys, I stopped to get parfait. I haven't had these in like, in a long time. Honestly, for some reason I haven't had parfait in years. So I was surprised by the price. I don't even know why I was surprised because everything in Nigeria is like, now expensive but i haven't had these in years and i thought to stop by and have one for today so it's okay i feel like the the yogurts they used to make it a bit watery now for some reason but yeah i will eat my money <laughs> Guys, if you know me, you know I've been struggling with like dandruff for a while. So I went to another hair salon today to start the treating process again. And fingers crossed it works. Um, it's so funny, I know the exact moment and the exact salon I picked up this dandruff thing from. I know. I, I, I just don't want to call them out because I'm just so annoyed at how bad my situation has gotten. But yeah. And if you remember a few years ago, that's actually why I cut my hair because of this dandruff. I mean, after severe treatment, it went. But for some reason, I guess it didn't go completely because it's come back. Um, yeah, so let's see. Because I want to do, I want to braid my hair for the summer and i won't braid if i can see dry dry scalp and dandruff in my hair so let's hope this is also said before summer hi guys so this my video has been like all over the place anyway today we have a party as usual i feel like every week we have a birthday party and we're off to a birthday party right now and the kids they don't want to show you guys their outfit you wanna show? So this is what we are wearing today. <laughs> it's time for me to go. Pamela, do you want me to show you? <laughs> ah, okay, so yeah, better lighting. So let's go guys. Guys, how is Pringles 5K something right now? It's crazy. So guys, I'm here to end my vlog. Um, sorry for the delay. I know I have, sorry, my camera is not ready. 
I'm just out of the gym and I have two worst breakouts ever. So I'm going to have my ginger shots because why not? And yeah. Ah! Ah! Uh. And my juice. Anyway, so something happened recently. I ordered something from an online vendor. And after I paid, they replied, thanks B. Am I the one that's overly sensitive or that's just like unprofessional? I don't know you, we're not friends. You don't know me. How you tell me, okay B, thanks B. Like we need to do better. Or maybe I'm just a sensitive one, I don't know. Please comment, let me know if that's like normal behavior. Like why would someone order something from you? Someone you don't know, someone you're not friends with and your reply is, as opposed to thank you, you're like, thanks B. Or when they send you, it's like, hi B. What's the familiarity? When you don't know this person, you don't know this client, it's not a, it's not a returning customer. This is your first meeting with this person. It is hi B, thanks B. Bruh, you guys, we need to do better. Anyway, I feel like this video is filled with rants and complaints. My next video is going to be worth, worth your time. I promise you. Something you guys have been asking for. So let's, let's watch this one <laughs> and tune in for the next one. All right, guys. See you.